I think I got disconnected there. I'm not entirely sure at what point I got disconnected there. <laughs> I, I'm, and it is distinctly possible that I hit the wrong button when I went to go do my last thing. So let me go ahead and say welcome back again. And I'll have to check the recording to see where things were at. Um, ooh. Now, now I'm really perplexed because, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I may just have to go ahead and cut that as the new intro and skip all that rambling I did for a whole four or five minutes on, uh, <laughs> on where we've been. Like I said, uh, in the last episode or earlier in the stream, uh, we are trying a new format for games revisited and I really, really ought to go back and, uh, and um, update the game that I'm playing on Twitch and Mixer. But because I'm doing a survey of a bunch of different games, I don't want to have to keep switching, tabbing over, and changing the game every single time. So sorry if you came here looking for Mario Brothers. That was earlier in the stream, or the previous stream, or early in the week if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, trying to release it in smaller chunks. We went through the Mario Brothers trilogy, the evolution of the game system, and then we did some of the side scrollers and the time wasters. And now we're getting into some of the adventure games, starting with uh, the beginning of a very long running, wonderful, and much beloved series The Legend of Zelda. This, this is way back in the beginning. Uh, Oh, how quaint. A short list of items. <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if you're if used to playing... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please look up the manual for details. <laughs> That's when the manual actually mattered. 1986. Um, so... There we go. All right. Oh, yep. That's it. There you are in the middle of the adventure. <laughs> There's your A, your B, your no money, your no keys, and your no bombs. Best of luck to you, pal. There's your meager inventory, such as it is, which you can only load up into your B button. Because reasons? <laughs> because limitations of the game platform. And the little bits of Triforce you've collected. Oh, none of that. Did you want the story? That's in the manual. Um, let's go into the first cave you see. Because it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> the words that have launched a thousand links. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. That's it. Which way do you go? Oh, I'm sorry. If you're looking for quest markers, your quest markers are in another adventure. <laughs> you don't have them in this one. Need directions? Good luck with that. Get out your three ring binder and your notebooks because uh, they ain't going to help you. You kind of sort of got a map in the top left there. And all that really does is tell you that, uh, oh yeah, you can shoot through the rocks. They could jump through the rocks. Come on. Clunky controls. Get them! I need the money. Show me the rupees. Oh, that's just mean. Guess who ain't getting paid? This guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is back when games challenged you to actually remember stuff. Do you need a quest journal? Get out a three ring binder. Do you need a log of hints? Get out a three ring binder. Frustrated by uh, funky hitboxes? No, no, that's life. Especially at this particular juncture. You know what? That doesn't seem like a good place to be hunting things out. Oh, yeah. But this was the height of sprites. 
and you'll notice it's struggling with that many enemies on the screen. <laughs> now, unfortunately, this is one that I'm not really going to be able to give a good full accounting of because, uh, yeah, this was an adventure that would take you many hours of gameplay. So, you know, th this would be another uh, Knights of the Old Republic style run to go back through each and every bit of gameplay. Because, you oh, I really could have used that heart. What was an on junior missing? Hit points. <laughs> I forgot that uh, in this version of Zelda, it beeped at you incessantly while your health was low too. You know, to help you in case you didn't notice. Alright, I don't want to sit here and fight you. Oh, uh, where was the dungeons? There were dungeons and things. It wasn't just all wandering around the map. I mean, that's how you got to the dungeons and things. Oh. Continue, save, or retry. Um, now I'm trying to remember. Okay, so maybe maybe The Legend of Zelda was one of the ones that actually started with a uh, battery. That's one of those things that I'll definitely have to look up at a later point in time. Um, I know Legend of Zelda 2 definitely came with a battery. And you needed to use that to say, and as long as the battery was good, you could save. I think Legend of Zelda 1 might have, um, you know what? can't stand it. It's bothering me that I can't remember that. Legend of Zelda. Or the video game. 1986 action adventure game. Yada 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 yada. Selling over 6.5 million copies. Often featured in a list of the greatest video games of all time. Um, a number of successors and spin-offs. Yes. <laughs> Lots of them, too. Uh, unique gold-colored cartridge. I, oh, yeah, I almost forgot about that. Perception, impact, legacy. Um, where's the technology one? Oh yeah, there's all sorts of fun stuff in there too. All right, um, okay. Made full use of disc cards, media advantages over traditional ROM cartridges with an increased size of 128 kilobytes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, doggone it. I thought that was supposed to be helpful. Oh, well. All right, back to the games. Enough of the research. Back to the games. So that was the game that started it all. Now let's go ahead and close that, and let's go to The Legend of Zelda 2, which, incidentally, I actually played before I played the original Zelda. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't remember why I ended up getting Zelda 2 first. And then got Zelda 1. So this was my introduction to the world of Zelda. Hi Java. You'll notice by this point uh, there have been some improvements in the graphics. It's looking a little bit better. Um, I mean, again, within the limitations of an 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 game system. Uh, you know, there's only but so much you can do with... Uh, with two kilobytes of memory and an 8-bit processor. Oh, that's... <laughs> so 
So instead of the top-down view, you had the side scroll for certain parts. You had top-down in the world map. If you wandered off the path, that's when the monsters would attack. the bag for your extra XP. Ooh, do I want to bank it up for more? Do I want to get more life now or bank it up for attack and magic? Yeah, let's go ahead and let's uh, increase our life. That seems better for demonstration purposes. <laughs> All right, let's try to get a little more combat in here. And so yeah, you, you'd hit those little shadows of enemies and that's when you'd run into these little side-scroll adventures to fight stuff and get XP. And so now we're starting to get into the leveling. But again, this is because we're in an adventure game. Uh, this is concurrent to some of the other, some of the other games. It's not like uh, there weren't games with XP and level and whatnot at, before this. Um, That is probably one side effect of the way that I, I arrange things. You kind of lose track of what was concurrent with what. Um, but a lot of time was spent doing this grinding. Welcome to the grind, my friend. This part has remained a constant in adventure gaming for, uh, for quite some time. Alright. Hit a town real quick. Oh yeah, if you're expecting somebody to talk to you, they ain't. This is your talk. Sorry, I know nothing. Don't you wish today's game characters would be that straightforward with you? I mean, when's the last time you walked to somebody in Fallout 4 who said, Sorry, I know nothing, and then just walked on? too busy to talk to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. We still had these tropes even back then. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. Alright. Oh. And that's what happened if you tried to get to them on a path block. So, yeah. Again, this is another one of those games that we could do a multi-week adventure series because th this was designed to have you know 60 80 hours worth of gameplay you you're going to spend a lot of time adventuring back and forth and traveling from town to town um quest log that's your three ring binder hints that's your three ring binder you you needed to know what to jot down what to remember where you were going what was happening um, it is still fairly linear compared to today's open game worlds like Skyrim and Fallout and, and Witcher and the, those sorts of games. Uh, this is far more closed and narrow, but um, still fairly open. Still a lot of places to go. Uh, things you can get lost in, stuff you can do. Um, to include get yourself in all sorts of trouble by going <laughs> including getting getting yourself shot up by the invisible enemies This is where I'm going to head back to the credits.
and say if you're watching on youtube thank you for joining along make sure you hit subscribe to get notified when new stuff goes live i'm trying a new format for games revisited that's part of why i'm doing the medley the way i am i am i'm going to do the full live stream tuesdays at 6 p.m u.s eastern for the normal time that i did them but what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to keep it down into shorter segments something that I can release over the time during the week on YouTube. So instead of sitting there looking at a giant two hour chunk of content, it's going to be chopped down into little 20, 25 minute episodes and uh, give you a chance to, to space it out and pace it a little bit better than what I've been doing in the past. And I wanted to check the editing process. So that's why I'm doing it this week. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing these little bits come out day by day if you're watching live hang tight with me because again um, other than the one little glitch where I accidentally cut myself offline or got knocked off I'm not entirely sure which um, I, I I really should be blaming myself I probably hit the wrong button because um, I'm not used to jumping back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and so uh, with all that said and done if you are watching on YouTube, thank you. Have fun. The next episode will be up tomorrow, unless you're waiting to binge these all together. If you want to watch live, take a look in the description below. There's a link to the Twitch channel and the Mixer channel. And um, I, I simulcast to both of those, so choose whichever one you prefer. And uh, make sure you follow to get notified when I go live. I Right now I've got two streams going. So this is on Thursdays. And on Tuesdays I've got a Minecraft stream. So if that appeals to you, join me Tuesdays as well. So for the YouTube folks, I'm going to say good night. For the live stream folks, I'm going to say hang on. we still get a little bit more nostalgia to run through.